Today, we're diving into a situation that's sure to spark debate and stir up some serious controversy. During the last clash between the All Blacks and the Springboks at the legendary Ellis Park, there was a tense moment that left a lot of people talking. We're talking about the explosive reaction of the South African crowd during the New Zealanders' Haka. It was a Saturday of intense rugby in Johannesburg with around 60,000 South African fans packing Ellis Park, known for turning the stadium into a real fortress. Everyone knew it wouldn't be easy for the All Blacks and the anticipation was high when it came time for the Haka, the Kappa Opango, led by TJ Perinara. Before the Haka, the New Zealand players paid tribute to the late Maori King who had recently passed away. Wearing black armbands and with Perinara saying a prayer, they honoured the fallen leader. But when it was time for the Haka, what was supposed to be a moment of respect and challenge turned into an unexpected confrontation. The South African fans, with all their passion, started booing and, believe it or not, played music in the stadium while the All Blacks performed the Haka. To top it off, the famous Emirates airplane made its traditional flyover right in the middle of the ritual. Damien McKenzie, playing in Johannesburg for the first time, was visibly unsettled by the situation. It is the first time I have played here in Johannesburg, McKenzie said in the post-match media briefing. I was told it was pretty loud. You can understand the roars of the crowd, but the music, yeah, I probably don't agree with it as much. He also reflected on the meaning of the haka, stating, it is an opportunity for us to connect with our back home and our ancestors. We knew the noise was going to be there, but it is out of my control. On Sunday, All Blacks coach Scott Robertson also spoke about the incident highlighting the significance of the Haka and how the team received the situation. It's a pretty iconic tradition, isn't it? In our game, and everyone has their own way with receiving it, Robertson remarked. He continued, We'd prepared for that. It wasn't the first time. They try and take their advantage on it. Take away our advantage, they believe that we've gotten the Haka, and I think it just adds to the theatre of all. It's not going to change, so you just embrace it. So, Green and Gold Army, what do you make of this story? Did the South African crowd cross the line, or is this all just part of the rugby rivalry? Should the Haka be respected above all else, or is it fair game to try and disrupt the opponents? We want to hear your thoughts in the comments. This controversy is sure to fuel a lot more discussion, and we want to hear from each of you.